you know, the interesting thing about what I've been doing on social media is I'm constantly creating content and putting out content that I very rarely ever consume content. I've been following you for a while. How do you overcome the fear of posting content on social media? You overcome the fear of posting content on social media by posting content on social media. I wish there was another way. I think we've probably all experienced that, that moment when you, you've created whether a video or a post, whatever it is, like, you're like, this is freaking perfect. Like, this is gonna just crush. And you post it and it just bombs. And then something that like literally like, and midnight, you just throw it together real quick and throw it on there and just, just goes crazy. It's just the most frustrating thing uh, ever. Uh, but you're right. Like you can go crazy looking at all these numbers and and why did this? Why didn't they like this? Or why why did they like that? Uh, but for me, you know, what, the thing I'm most excited about. I love Instagram stories. You know, that's that's like I think people are scrolling right to left, not up and down anymore. Also, repurposing content. So right now I'm on Instagram Live. I'm on Facebook Live. I've got a camera right there that's recording my Facebook Live. I've got the phone recording my Instagram Live. I'm using a microphone so that the microphone is high quality audio. I'm using my AirPods. And that's for Facebook. Facebook. I'm using my AirPods so it's high quality audio, higher quality audio on Instagram. But guess what? Through these questions that we're doing on Q&A, there's going to be some good questions and some good answers. That's the hope at least. And then we're going to take this content and we're going to chop it up months down the road from now. It's just one more piece of content that'll go out, which will get repurposed for an episode of the vlog on Thursday, which will get repurposed into tons of micro content for the Road to Legacy vlog for the next three months, which will get repurposed into tons of content that'll go into Instagram stories and, you know, LinkedIn posts and, you know, YouTube, you know, bumpers and like all kind of, like all this stuff that gets created from us coming on here and having a seemingly in the beginning unsuccessful Facebook and Instagram live. And so it's all about the recall with all the content that you're creating. So you just need to be documenting as much as humanly possible um, because you never know when you're going to need one clip that is about a particular topic that happened to come up, for example, uh, today. The reality is, especially with all these new updates going on with these different platforms, is that less and less people are seeing the stuff you're posting. And so if less and less people are seeing the stuff you're posting and I got into kind of a, not an argument, but a disagreement in, in the comments of a girl here in Greenville, um, one of her posts, because she was talking about how that means the quality needs to improve. I think that's completely wrong. If less and less people are seeing your posts, it doesn't mean the quality needs to get better. It means you need to post more. If the quality just gets better, that means less and less people are going to see better and better quality stuff. It's still not going to be seen by more people. So the, of course the answer is and, like qu quality and quantity. But what's quality? It's so subjective to each individual person. But I love the, I love the quote that says, uh, great stories happen to those who tell them. It's your story and, and you can create it today.